I mentioned the next handout you're printing on your own. We again may not get to it today, but um, hopefully probably on Monday though. Uh, we're looking to finish up stereochemistry, yeah? Uh, let's, uh, how are we doing on this uh, puzzle? Has that been helpful? Um, how is the alkene able to learn all this electrophilic reactions? Okay, good stuff. There's a couple on here that I don't cover in Organic 1, and I made a note of that. Some instructors do, I do not, because I think it's a lot of reactions already. Uh, so I gave you a couple of answers. And so you see that, I mean, this is published in general medical education. This is what you know, students are doing across the country. Um, organic. Okay. Alkenes. Mechanisms, yeah? Okay, where's Waldo? Uh, this one ended up being miso, is that right? Does it have plant symmetry? Yes. Miso? Yes. Okay. Much easier to see that with Fisher projection. Let's try the next one.
Well, it's, like, it's almost like we want to put the metal at the bottom. <laughs> Indeed, I do. Can we? Yes. What you can do with your fissures here, and I've not, we've not said this before, is these three can just be rotated. And those three can be rotated. We can move the methyl down, the chlorine will go here, and the H will go there. And if I do that, we didn't do anything at the top. The chlorine is on the, is that there? So what I'm doing, I just turn the bottom. The methyl comes down. Chlorine comes here and the H goes there. Now the methyl is marrying the methyl. Is that a plane of symmetry? No. No. You need a chlorine here. Well, I can rotate the chlorine over. <coughs> let's, let's rotate the chlorine over. <coughs> methyl. This, this all can just turn, and I'll show you with a, with a model. The chlorine comes over here, the methyl is here, and the H comes down. Nothing changed here, right? <coughs> now is that a plane of symmetry? No. Chlorines are now mirroring each other. But guess what? It's not. Well, we can rotate the methyl back down, then the methyls will be mirroring. In the end, you will never get it to where it will be a mirror. Because it's not. That tells you it's not. There's no mirror plane. You can keep rotating all you want. The only way you're going to get it to mirror is to disconnect bonds, and then you don't have the same compound. Okay? There is no mirror plane. Uh, but you can rotate these and look for it. This is no mirror plane. This is a chiral compound. Okay? <laughs> Hopefully you know what that means. That means if we drew the enantiomer, which would look like what? Is it the next one if I just do Fisher? Yes. Is that the mirror image of that? Yes. It is, yes. What's the relationship between these two? Same or enantiomers? Because that's what that term right there means. The mirror image is different. It's power. How do we know that they're different? Two ways. First off, there's no plane of symmetry, and we proved it. The other way would be to make models of these and see if they stack on each other. <coughs> and you will find that they will not. That's also what that tells you right there. Once we identified it's power, we didn't know that they're up. Okay. Is everybody getting getting there? Are we saying these things again, again, again and again? Yes. A molecule is chiral. This one over here was not. Okay. Here's another, here's a trick though. Like we could have did this. This is a carbon with a chlorine and a methyl and an H. That's a carbon with a chlorine, methyl, and an H. <laughs> Two identical carbons. Are they mirroring each other? They have to be identical to mirror. But are they? We already know the answer is no. How could we have done that another way, a trick way? Okay? But you can't rely on a trick because you may be asked to draw fissures and you've got to practice that. The trick would be, let's do R and S. Chlorine 1. Carbon with chlorine 2, methyl 3, H back. What is this? R. Okay? It is. Real quick, what's the other one? No? It ain't S. It's also R. I bet you a steak dinner with a baked potato on the side. It's R. How do I know? Because we've already invited this car. If that was S, that would mean that this identical carbon over there is mirroring over here. Because what's the mirror of R? Yes. Yes. But it ain't a mirror, because we've already determined that. There is no mirror. Do you see a mirror plane? There is none. So it can't be R and S. It can't be mirroring. You see that trick? You can do it. I bet again, I bet it's hard. There we go. Uh, okay, Carol, anybody get an answer over here? Is that one Carol? 
It's Carl also? Okay. Uh, did you draw Fisher? How did you answer? How did you get the answer? Oh, is it the, are these two an answer? Yes. Is that one? Okay, good. Uh, indeed it is, because if you look at the backbone, that's all, got the same backbone. But the two projections, the chlorine and the methyl, have been switched. So indeed, it does look like an angel. Is that how you determine an angel? Or did you draw a fissure? <coughs> I just saw that they were switched. Okay. I didn't recognize that at first. So this is Carl. I mean, they're both Carl. I mean, it's like this. I, that's Carl, meaning the mirror image is different. But that was also Carl, meaning the mirror image is different. Two Carl objects right here. Yes, good. Okay. Uh, let's try these. It's a ring. It's just instead of six, it's four. Yeah. These groups are obviously trans on the ring. Carol, a Carol, or me? What do you see? We're looking for what? Waldo? Anybody get an answer? A curl, because there's a plane of symmetry. All right, is that a plane of symmetry? No, no. no. Obviously not. Bromo, they need to have a bromine over here. But guess what? That's a plane of symmetry right there. Half a ring mirroring half a ring. Half a bromine back mirroring half a bromine back. You can cut right through atoms. Half a chlorine forward mirroring half a chlorine forward. That's a plane of symmetry. What's the answer? Hey, Carl. Oh, me so. Does it have Carl carbons? Is that carbon Carl? No. No. No, it's not. It's got a chlorine attached, an undrawn H. This and that is the same outcome around that ring. This compound does not even have Carl carbons. What do you want to call it? Hey, yeah. I would not call it meso because a meso compound has chiral carbons. Even though it's a special type of compound. I'll just call it a chiral. It's no more chiral than water or methanol or butane. Stereochemistry is that compound. Does it have any stereochemistry? Is it stereogenic? No. Which basically means can you do different stereochemistry with that compound? No. No. Can you draw some other? We gotta have a bromine here and a chlorine here. Okay? This is stereoisomer, it's got the same connectivity. Are those the same? If they're not, if they're not the, same, the same, that means they're stereoisomers, that means the compound is stereogenic. Same or different? Different. Those are different. Okay. If things are really different, they should have different stereochemical descriptors. They have the same name. Both of these are. One chloro, no B before C. One bromo, three chloro cyclobutane. They're both that. They're stereoisomers. What about descriptor? Is it the same descriptor or no? It's different. This one's tri uh, this one is cis, right? And this one is trans. Different stereochemical descriptors. That tells you they're, they're stereo isomers. What's the relationship between these two, the cis and train? What type of stereo isomers? Yes, very good. 
What's your other option? Yeah, there's only two options. Are these an antigens? What's the mirror image of cis? You mean my mirror image? I'm cis. They're both. If you ever look in the mirror like this and your, your mirror image is like this, let me know. <laughs> mirror image of cis is cis. Okay? They're not mirror images. So by default, yeah, cis trans are not a stare. This compound has diastereomers, but it doesn't have an antigen. But it's not chiral. All right? How about the next one? Where's Waldo? That's not. It would be if we had what? A methyl forward up here. But we don't. How about that? No. Bromine over there. There's no bromine over here. Can you find Waldo? No. There is. Never found it. There's no plane of symmetry. What's the answer? It is Carl. If we drew the mirror image, it would be a different compound, just like these are different here. Pause. We already said it many times. Here we go. What do we got? A Carl. Plane of symmetry. A Carl. Why? Plane of symmetry plus the Michaels. Uh huh. Plane of symmetry, right through here. Two planes. Anybody have another comment? Meso. Another plane of symmetry. Meso. Meso. Why is it meso? You're saying it has chiral carbons? No. Right. Is that car carbon chiral? No. Got a methyl and undrawn H. These are the same. I don't see any chiral carbons, so I'm not going to call it meso. I'm going to just say it's a carbon. Anybody else have another comment, though? Everybody like my plane of symmetry? No. There's another plane of symmetry. There's another one. It's actually a plane of symmetry here. That compound's got two planes of symmetry. <coughs> All right? It's certainly a carbon. Next one. Plane of symmetry right there, right? Methyl mirroring methyl, half a bromine back here, and half a bromine back. What's the answer? This one's meso because that is a chiral carbon, right? It's got a methyl and undrawn H. Is this the same? No. You go this way, you encounter a bromine carbon with a bromine. You go this way, you do not. That's a that's an achiral compound that has chiral carbons. Special case we call it meso. Next one here. This is a five-member green. It's been sort of turned instead of instead of flat. Okay, instead of my hand flat on the board, it's like it's like this. Alright? And this is bolded, it's like this is more forward. Okay? The wrist part of my hand, if I moved it like this, it's now closer to you. And maybe I can kind of show it's bolded. Just a different way to maybe see a compound and I'm showing you this, but you might see it. These are just different ways. Okay, do we have an answer here? Uh, this is what I would suggest. Redrawing this, I see it's a five-membered ring. Let's redraw it kind of flatter. Well, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to put the, the, the point at the top. Five-member ring, and then there's two bromines here. They're cis. They're both up. These are trans, if you can see that. One's up. <coughs> Hope you'll agree that's the same compound. I've just sort of turned the view a little bit. Five-member ring, two bromines adjacent, and they're both up. Everybody agree? Now do you see something? See the plane of symmetry? What's the answer? Meso. It's meso. Because these are chiral carbons. Special type of a chiral, right? Do you see the plane of symmetry here? It's coming through that point there. I don't know how to draw that. It's, it's slicing right between the, this bond, through the ring, and through that carbon up there. 
right between this bond, through the ring, and through that carbon up there. I've just turned the view. I'd recommend redrawing it unless you can just see it from over there. So you might see it over here. Now you can kind of slice through it. Okay. Another way, might see down over here. Uh, let's redraw it, maybe. Uh, I'll put the point at the top. The bromines are not adjacent. But there's and we can do this. I'll do one up and the other one sort of down. Is that a plane of symmetry? No. The other way you could do this is draw in more perspective. You can just redraw them. That's a five-membered ring. And the two bromines are trans. We could do this. Five-member ring, two bromines, trans. Maybe you like to assess it better here. Is that a plane of symmetry? No. No. Roaming forward, you need a roaming forward over there. Okay. No. Different ways to do this. I would suggest manipulating it, finding the view. And the answer here is Cairo. No plane of symmetry. The mirror image will be different. Okay. So that's some there. Questions about any of those? I asked you earlier, but any questions about the ones above? There you go. There's your, there's your test, okay? That is, you sit down. If you haven't done it already, set the clock, 20 minutes, take the test, see how you do. If you, if you stare at the first compound for 20 minutes and make no progress, that should tell you that you need to be working on it. If you can do all those, okay? Or you can ask questions. How are we doing? Any questions about those? I'll do that one here. I'll do that one here. Show the fish okay. Fill on top of ethyl at bottom. Okay. Let's see here. We got two chiral carbons. So I need two fish hairs. It's common for two. Okay. Uh, fennel at top. There's a fennel. Ethyl at bottom. That means the ground needs to be over here. Ethyl needs to be at the bottom. The ground's over here. This is vertical to the ground. <coughs> These are chlorines on the top carbon, away from the ground. Okay, this carbon. With the chlorine going away, what size is the fill on? With the chlorine going away, the fill on the right. Undrawn H on that carbon. Goodbye. How am I looking at that? I'm standing on the ground. I'm here. I'm looking through the. I'm hovering. The feet, my feet are on the ground. I'm up here. Why am I up here? Because the chlorine is going away. See how it's going away from my view? Alright. How's the fennel? Coming towards you guys, right? 
If I'm over here with my feet on the ground, hovering up here, chlorine going away, fennel is on the right. What do I see? Chlorine away, fennel on the right. Chlorine away, fennel over here. I'm drawing nature over here. Okay. Now here. With the ethyl going away, the thing in the plane going away, what side is the F on? Right. Okay. I'm looking at it down here, the alpha going away. Does it, isn't the alpha going up? Doesn't matter what it does over there. It's going away, what side of the alpha? Right. We wouldn't look at it from the other direction with it going that way. You certainly would, because right now my feet are in the air. Where's the ground? The ground is over here. We've got to put our feet on the ground. Ground is this way. Okay? Now, with the feet on the ground, right? We want to be like this. Feet on the ground. This is me. Okay? Now, we're going away. The F is coming towards you. With the alpha going away. With my feet on the ground, F is to my left. With the alpha going away, that's now an ethyl there. The F is on the left. Yes. You gotta make sure your feet are on the ground. I'm drawing H over here. Isn't there an H over there? There it is, and the fissure has drawn. But the direction said fennel at top, ethyl at bottom. Well, the ethyl is at the bottom, but the fennel's not at the top. Are we. How can we correct this? Rotate. rotate. You can just rotate it. I didn't do this before. <coughs> over here. Let's rotate it. Good. I've got one right here. Chlorine's green. Ah, <coughs> uh, you can see when I turn the melted back. It's, let's move it over here. And chlorine's here. Uh, H back. Okay. That's that one on the board. Uh, we erased it. I wish you had two. Okay. This is what you can do though. Look, if I just hold that, these three will just spin. That is, if the chlorine is, right now the chlorine is to the left. I can just spin these. If the chlorine goes back, where does the methyl go? <coughs> right. You see? That's why I showed you. If the chlorine moves here and is now back, the methyl just move here. So you remember how I showed you just turn them? That's what you're doing. Because that bond up there, it's really not, really what's spinning is the bond. The bond is rotating. I'm doing it by just doing that because the connection will rotate in my model. So, I could just spin these three like, <laughs> hold it there, don't spin anything here. If I, I could put the fennel up there, the chlorine here, and the H over here. And then I can meet the directions. It'll be the same compound, just spun around. We don't need to spin the bottom. F, H. Metal's at top now. Where's the chlorine? Here. The H spins over there. Everybody there? Okay. There it is, according to the directions. Check. Next question, is it a rethrow or a three of them? What's a high priority group on this carbon? Chlorine. This one. F. Yeah. High priority groups are on the same side of the fissure. What is it? Arethro. Arethro. There you go. There's your answer. Good? Question?
the American Chemical Society or IUPAC are suggesting that a three would be better than five. And you just pick up on that. Okay? Because uh, there's a little ambiguity in exactly how you have your position. That's why I said, or I will say, with, I first told you to put ethyl atop it. If you draw it like that, what is it? Yeah. But you're right. You draw another. But it can't be both. It can't be both the retro and the That's like a compound being both cis and trans. It's just. It's a good question. Um, yeah. What is the maximum number of possible stereoisomers? Does that include stereogenic centers that aren't carbon? Yes. Have you encountered one that's not carbon? Uh, not yet. Back page of one of my hand ups will show you some if you want to encounter some. Sulfurs can be chiral. Nitrogen sometimes can be, but not because of a certain reason. We're getting above the course, but it's something to maybe take a look at. Uh, we're focusing on carbon. Okay. Uh, all right, at this point, let's try to pull things together. And if you can tell me what we need, need to do. Solidamide, DQ questions. At this point, I'm open to suggestions of what you want to look at. Uh, one thing we need to look at is <coughs> Let's be perfect. Yeah. So going back to alkene reaction. Okay, here's an alkene. ICL, interhalogen. Trying to pull it all together now. Are we making progress? Okay. It's a lot. I'm trying to fast today because we're reviewing, trying to get examples. Okay. We're getting things straight. Getting where you want to be. All right, here we go. Now, okay, what is this ICL thing? So interhalogen, it's it's polarized. Okay. Alkene. Which halogen will the alkene attack? The iodine is partial plus because of the greedy chlorine, right? <laughs> alkene can attack that. This is basically a halogenation. You brominated an alkene lab. That's easy, you put a bromine on each carbon. Get two bromines and one on each carbon. Here you've got two different halogens, and so we have the potential. Do we put them on I here and CL here, or do we put I here and CL here? So we have regiochemistry. <coughs> Does anybody know which, which carbon will the chlorine end up on, left or right? Chlorine is going to end up on the left carbon. <coughs> okay. I'll just show the product. The product will be, do we have to worry about carbocation No. Okay. No. We're going to have an iodine here and chlorine here. It doesn't matter how you show the single bond. I'm going to just put it here. That's going to be the product with no stereochemistry shown. <coughs> and I will probably go through that to show you how you get there. But let's ask this question here. Is that compound stereogenic? That is, do we need to consider different stereoisomers? Yes. Yes. How many potential stereoisomers for this compound? Well, I see. That's a chiral carbon, right? Four different things to test. Chlorine, methyl, isopropyl, and this big old thing, carbon with an iodine. 
That's also current. You've got two current currents. How many steroids are possible? Four. Four is max. Is it going to be max or less than max? Do you expect a meso compound here? No. Meso is going to have to have sort of the same thing on two different sides for it to be a mirror plane. Okay? You've only got one iodine. There's no way that's a mirror plane because you've got to have another iodine over there. The only way for it to be a mirror plane is if you split right through the iodine. Well, can you do that? No, I mean, so it's sort of, hopefully you see, there's going to be no mirror plane. There's no meso here. So indeed, it's, it remains max, and it's four. Two to the two is four, okay? Question, are you going to get all four from this reaction? Okay. What are the questions up here? Is the product chiral? Yes. There's no claim to say it's chiral. It's got two chiral carbons. The whole thing is chiral because there's no plane of symmetry. Um, what is going to be here? You're only going to get two, two of the stereoisomers. Let's work through the mechanism. Um, high electrons attack iodine, take that off. Bind to iodide. We can show carbocation here. But this new bond is now tetrahedral. It's either forward or back. Let's show it forward. Plus an antimony. It could also be back. Question Is this really formed? No. No, this is going to back bond. And when it back bonds, we get what? Iodine, which is forward, back bonds, that's also going to be forward. And the iodine is now positive. And this is NAF. And so it really doesn't matter if it has an answer because it really ain't formed in real life. <coughs> but over here, you'll also get the enantiomer because they can both be back. Now the Cl minus. attacks where? It attacks the same place it would be a cation, but it's different. How do you attack a cation from the back? Either side. But we're not attacking a free cation. We're attacking something that's back -blind. How do you attack this one? Somebody already said it. If the iodine is forward, how does the chlorine come in? comes in back and we get iodine here and the chlorine here back Some of you are missing your second arrow on the, on the quiz. Please check the answer key. These electrons attack carbon. These electrons get pushed off back to iodine to become a third lone pair. Here's your product plus an antimer. problem with uh, the product. And at this point, um, <coughs> I'm going to show you another way to do this. The problem here is these two are both in the plane. We've got three in the plane. Which one's forward here? Got a chlorine back. What's forward there? 
That's where you have a problem. It's tough to know. Let me do this a different way. We're approaching out of time. This is where we go back, and I mentioned several days ago, turn this. This is a stereogenic alkene. It can be E or Z. These things, I would turn them. And let's put, these two groups are cis, let's put them both back. And put this group forward. This is just this turn. Okay? If my thumb is down on the board, I do this, now it's forward. If my pinky's up and the thumb is down, I do this, now the thumb is forward and pinky's back. That's all I've done. Now, get rid of the pi bond and put your two new groups there in the plane. Chlorine is here and it's straight up. The iodine is here and it's straight down. Because these add anti across the pi bond. This is an anti addition of the two halogens. This is a better way to do it. Now we have projection because now look at this carbon over here. Two in the plane, one four in the back. I recommend doing it this way understanding how things are added, and just add them. Once you figure this out, you don't even really have to do mechanism, plus an answer. Now we can do this in a Fisher projection. We're running up against time. You have the video. Are you guys watching the videos? Let's do this in a Fisher real quick. Does it say how to draw it? Isopropyl group at the top and bottom. No, they're not in the plane. Here we go, real quick Fisher projection. Isopropyl is isopropyl. Top and bottom doesn't matter. I'll do it here. Chlorine's away from the ground. With the chlorine going away, what size is the isopropyl on? Ground. Chlorine going away, isopropyl on the right. With the chlorine going away, the isopropyl is on the right. The methyl is on the left. It's a methyl group. With the iodine going away, what side is the isopropyl on? Iodine going away, feet in the air. Grounds over here. Iodine going away, isopropyl on the right. Iodine going away, isopropyl on the right. There's an undrawn H here. There it is. Direction set isopropyl at top and bottom. We can just rotate this isopropyl at top. Where does chlorine go? Here. Methyl swings around. Isopropyl at bottom. Where does iodine go? Here. Undrawn H there. There it is as drawn. Is it urethro or threeo? Urethro. High priority groups on the same side. What else do you get from this reaction? Plus an antimony. An antimony would be where the chlorine is down and the iodine is up. much as you want, up to, you know, 9.30 or so. Have a good day.